Now, Jasmine, you wrote some amazing things about your husband. Tell me what makes you most proud of him. Oh, my goodness. I can go on and on, but he is a true pillar in our community, and he's so into the moment of coaching and things mm -hmm. like that, I'm on the receiving end of it. I'm the one in the stands. I'm hearing all of the parent stories. Thank you for your husband, all he does for my child. Um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's amazing to see because I'm like, oh, that's my mind, you know? <laughs> but it makes me so proud and he's not one to, you know, brag Gross. and things like that. So I get to be his cheerleader. I get to, um, you know, just take in all the moment and see what he does for all of the kids on and off the field. You know, it goes it goes both ways, so it's amazing. I love that. You've got a good cheerleader over there. I, <laughs> see. I do. I appreciate her a whole lot. Yes. <laughs> now, Chris, tell me more about the work you're doing. Uh, so I'm the head coach at McNair High School, mm -hmm. which is our old high school we went to. We met there in 2005. Oh, so, my God. So yeah. you high school see her? Something like that. Yes, yeah. <laughs> that is beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so I graduated in 2009, started coaching there in 2010 been there ever since so like I, I pretty much am McNair mm -hmm. and with that it's just more than being a head coach with the football I'm, I'm in the school I work at the school so I'm making sure grades are right I'm talking to counselors making sure they're in class and then you know overall just being a role model and that mentor that some of them don't have I could be there and be that for them wow absolutely <laughs> that is so beautiful what inspired you to want to do that for the kids so a uh, big inspiration is just when I went to the school, it was a brand new school. And so there's a lot of things we didn't have. And I wanted to make sure every kid after me had this, the opportunities that I wish I had. And growing up where we, where we were from in Stockton, um, you can fall into the wrong places yeah. very easy. It's mm -hmm. gang related. A lot of stuff happens out there. So any positive thing I can do for the kids, I try to do. And I didn't want any kid to fall down the wrong path mm -hmm. if I had a chance you know, to make a difference. And so that's what it is. I just want one kid. As long as they know one person believes in them, yep. and I, I could be that one person for them to call on at any time they like. Yes. So. yes. And I'm certain it makes a huge difference. Of course. What are some of the things that you do to help them, and then how do you see it impacting them? Um, well, for uh, one thing, I had one of my players just last season, his house burned down like two days before his birthday. Mm. Not the season, before his birthday. and. I threw a birthday party at the house for him and invited all the kids, barbecued, you know, just so some, I didn't want him, his birthday, to be right. remembered as my house caught on fire, no. So I did that for him. All the kids came over, he had a great time. I, I've had another kid that I found out was sleeping in his car. I didn't know, as soon as I found out, you gotta come to the house. Like, I, I can't have you wondering what I'm gonna eat, where I'm gonna sleep at tomorrow. So it's just, that's just me, who I am as a person. And I think it's big for my mom, you know, mm -hmm. my mom being a single parent, these kids, a lot of these kids, especially in our area, single parent households, you know, they may not get the attention. Yes. So um, my mom always taught, taught me, keep my head up, you know, uh, never get too down. So I always see the positive out of everything. I love that. So I'm just like that with the kids at all times. Love that. Thank I was you, gonna ask you. that question. <laughs> so, I'm assuming, do you feel like mentoring, and you seem like a great father figure to them, do you feel like that's your calling? Of course, I feel like it's my purpose. It's um, purpose. Yeah, it's my purpose in life, honestly. There's one thing, with coaching, if I'm not coaching in the NFL, you're not making a whole bunch of money coaching. Uh -huh. So, <laughs> I don't do it for the money, but I just do it for the joy in the kids. There's so many kids that reach out to me just randomly different times, literally just a little while ago before I came on here, I got a message saying, you don't know how, uh, how much you mean to me. I look at you more than a dad, than my own dad, from one of my students. So like, mm. I get stuff like that all the time. It's been like that through, from the past few years. But I'm not really one to brag about myself. I'm not on social media. I just do it because I feel like that, that's what's right. And so I do it for these kids. Mm. That <laughs> is so amazing Thank to know you do all of that. And you as well, right Thank there you. by he's his amazing. side. Absolutely, and yeah. seeing what he does, not only on the field, but off the field. You know, he's teaching these young boys life lessons that can carry on into a lifetime. You know, when you shake a person's hand, you look them in the eye. You know, young, young you know, life skills that they would need growing up into the real world because football's only gonna go so far. And so he really instills education and mm. making sure grades are right, that they're on time to school, yes. on time to class, because 
can't be late to a job in the real world, you know? So he's getting yes. them ready yes. for yeah. getting them ready for life. And it's just an amazing thing to see that, you know, he's doing all of that. It came full circle being at our old high school as well. So I'm so exactly. proud. Mm. Wow. You're a blessing. <laughs> Thank you. Continue Thank you. to be that example. Thank you. And so here much. at the Happy Place, we celebrate everything <laughs> and everyone, and we want to celebrate you. So, well, you're doing amazing things, and there's a pretty big football game happening this there weekend is. in Las it Vegas. Is for, sure, for sure. Listen, the NFL is committed to youth and high school football development, and in honor of the Play Football Initiative and the work you are doing with the community and the kids, the NFL is giving you two tickets to the Super Bowl 58 this weekend to celebrate, because you are amazing. Keep doing what you're doing. This is for you. You turn up thank however you, you choose to. Enjoy yourself, Chris and Jasmine. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Please, we need Appreciate more examples it. like you. Okay. Live your best life. Have some fun. Okay. Enjoy. <laughs> if you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.